Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Panzo6 and today I want to talk about two things. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Battlefield 5. Even though I don't know much about Battlefield 5, but I'm going to speculate, damn it. I'm going to speculate the shit out of it. But, let's go ahead and get the elephant out of the room, and that's Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now, if you have been sitting under a rock or living in a van by the river, you might have seen all the negative press going on with the new Call of Duty trailer. It's now sitting at 415,000 dislikes and 195,000 likes currently, with a little over 8 million views. Eh, actually, it's almost 9 million. That's crazy. That's really crazy. Um, because <laughs> it's Call of Duty, and Call of Duty usually does pretty good. People, it sells awesome. It's been selling well forever. I think, for I don't know how many Call of Duty, there's probably 20 Call of Duties at this point. They've all made over a billion dollars. Even Ghost, which is sad. Um, and it's really weird, too, considering the fact the Modern Warfare remaster is attached to this. And it actually confirms it. And it makes me think that Infinity Ward screwed up so fucking bad with Ghost that it hurt its reputation because Infinity Ward is doing this one. Now, I don't think Black Ops 3 got that much negative attention. I don't think it did. It actually did really well. Um, the single player, I played through it. It was okay. I didn't care for the story. I love the first Black Ops. The first Black Ops is one of my favorite Call of Duty games. And the last two Call of Duty Black Ops games not done. That was okay. Advanced Warfare was awesome. Um, Ghost was... <sighs> but I liked Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3. Call of Duty 1 and 2. And Infinity Ward done those games. And that's, that's what makes me so confused because, you know, Infinity Ward was the go-to studio for Call of Duty for the longest time. It used to be Infinity Ward, Treyarch, Infinity Ward, Treyarch, Infinity Ward, Treyarch, Sledgehammer. Um, but I never really got into the multiplayer until, I think it was Modern Warfare 2. I started playing the Call of Duty multiplayer. I didn't play it that much. I, I, I would play it on occasions with my friends. And I stopped caring too much about Call of Duty and when the World War II... Um, Vietnam era stopped. And <laughs> seeing the new trailer for Infinite Warfare, it's kind of striking because it looks pretty much like the last three Call of Duty games. It's a futuristic setting. Um, seems like it's kind of taken from Titanfall, a little bit of Destiny. You can go to new planets. Um, the thing I liked the most about the trailer was the, the uh, space fights. Uh, I, I love like space a flight uh, simulators, like if I can get the words out of my mouth. Um, it's weird because I, I like that part of this trailer, but the graphics, they, they look like a step back from Black Ops and Advanced Warfare, and they say it's on a new engine. Um, but it actually looks like a um, 360 game. It literally looks like a Xbox 360 game. Now, I could be wrong. This could be the best Call of Duty ever made. I don't know that. If it is, then, you know, almost 500,000 people that disliked the video are going to go back and play it. This game's going to sell like hotcakes. It's it's just going to sell. It's going to make a billion in sales. Call of Duty is one of those franchises, kind of like Madden. People play it, then next year they get their next game, and, you know, it has a big MLG scene, and I don't know. Call of Duty, as far as sales goes, I think it's going to be fine. But the crazy thing is, the Modern Warfare remaster that was attached to this, we come to find out that you're not going to be able to buy the remaster anywhere else. It's not going to be separate. You have to spend seventy nine ninety nine for that edition in order to get that game. So, you know, I would have paid $20 for the remaster alone. I would be fine with that. I'd, if they gave you an option where you could buy that game for twenty dollars. I would buy it. See, I see. I'm on the fence of if Call of Duty decided to go multiplayer only. I kind of wish they would do something similar to this. Maybe thirty dollars for the campaign, 
and thirty dollars for the multiplayer because the multiplayer is going to get a ton of map packs so I'd say thirty dollars I think they're already starting this on Steam where you can buy the multiplayer version and that's, I don't think that's a bad idea I think um, because there's there's two types of Call of Duty players there's people who play the campaigns and there's people that don't they just concentrate on multiplayer and the people that play the campaigns is a very very small margin so I, I it may it could work, but I, I don't know. But I would love to see that. I, I would definitely pay for the Call of Duty campaign every year. I, I'm cool with that. Um Which yeah, I mean I'm kinda shocked by the amount of negative press this is getting right now because like I said, Call of Duty is like its juggernaut in the gaming industry. Everybody wants the Call of Duty money for the longest time. Every studio tried to replicate Call of Duty success and just really hasn't. Um, and even dethroned Halo. So, I mean, it is what it is. Um, but let's go ahead and not talk about that anymore because it's kind of making me sad a little bit. Kind of making me sad a tiny, tiny bit. Um, so let's talk about Battlefield Five. So there's been rumors that Battlefield Five is not going to be a modern setting. It's, it's There's a chance it could be a future setting. Like, uh, Battlefield, I think it was 2143. I could be wrong. Um, but there's also this other rumor that it's going to World War One. Now, <laughs> I've been watching some tweets uh, from the guys over at DICE, and they've very, been very, very cryptic. Um, they released a teaser, and it shows this dude's face, and he, he has a suit on. You can barely see it, but it looks like a World War Two. Uh, World War One type of getup, and he's l looking up in the air and is like shocked at what he sees. And it could be a fucking dinosaur. It could be ET. Um, I, I don't know. It could be something crazy. Um, it could be a fucking Velociraptor just coming out. <laughs> so it'd be like dinosaurs versus battlefield soldiers, which I doubt that's going to happen because. We want dinosaurs, and we told Dice we want fucking dinosaurs, and they keep on teasing us with dinosaurs, and they don't give us fucking dinosaurs. Sorry about that. <laughs> but anyways, um, <laughs> my girlfriend, she loves to try to scare me, and she's really good at it. I'll be into these things, and she'll just pop out and scare the shit out of me, and I just have to stop. But she didn't get me that time. She didn't. But... I don't know, but I'm really hoping because tomorrow they're going to release the trailer. I think it's, yeah, it's, t it's today. Um, well, later today, which right now you guys will be seeing this in a couple hours. Um, we should know something. We should see an actual announcement today for what the new Battlefield's going to be like. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be World War II. I would love to see, you know, Normandy, Omaha. Utah beaches or anything like that um, on the Frostbite engine. I'd love to see it. I like the last time I played a World War II um, game and loved it was Battlefield 1943, and I logged in so many hours for that. And uh, there was a little bit like a World War II section on Bad Company too. It was really cool. And I've been been wanting wanting a World War II shooter, a good one for the longest time. Uh, I, I started playing Verdun recently on Steam, and it's like it's World War I uh, battles in the trenches, and it's kind of like Planet Side, sort of. It reminds me of Planet Side, um, and you've got this ongoing war, and <laughs> like Planet, it just made me want to go back and play all the Call of Duties, uh, Medal of Honor games that was uh, in World War II era, and go and play Battlefield 1942 and 43, but Ah, uh, man, I'm just so hyped for Battlefield 5. Um, I mean, I like Battlefield 4, I like Battlefield 3, kind of like Hardline, but I just want to go back and play World War II shooters again. It's so fun, it's so fucking fun. And I like World at War, and I, I, I kind of wish they would make a sequel to that, um, uh, Treyarch. Set it back in World War II. So Trey, if you're wanting to make another Call of Duty, go back go back to World War II. Um, but yeah, we should know some something about uh, Battlefield 5 today. I hope so.
And if it's World War II themed, I am just going to fucking flip out. I'll be so so much hype. If it's World War One, I'd be fine. I think it's going to confuse a lot of people. They're going to be like, huh, we don't have these uh, crazy automatic uh, weapons and uh, crazy helicopter tanks or something like that, stuff like that. It'd be kind of cool if they did like, like some of it would be World War One, World War Two, and Vietnam Cold War, kind of like split in sections. Like you'll have your one expansion pack would be, you know, World War Two. Next one would be Vietnam and Cold War, whatever. I don't, I don't know if that will happen, but that would be amazing, because I would play the shit out. I'll, I'll be playing Battlefield. I'll buy it, and I'll end up buying a fucking fifty dollar season pass for it. They always get me. They always get me. I'll be like, I'm not going to buy that season pass. I'm not going to fucking buy it. And I buy it. It just, it just happens. It really does. And I'll play the, I'll play the shit out of it. I'm so sad. I'm a sad panda. So sad. But anyways, guys. So, that's what I want to talk about. I'm glad I got it out. Sorry I went off topic a few times. Sorry I stuttered. And also... I want to talk about one more thing before we get off here. And I know you guys are probably sick and tired of me talking about it, but I want to talk about it one more, a few more times, a lot. Um, so, bits and pieces of the game store thing I'm working on. Um, you can check it out at www.gofundme.com forward slash bits and pieces. And what it is, is a game store that also helps out people that suffer from anxiety disorders. Now, definitely could use your support. You don't have to donate. If you do donate, donate, I will fucking appreciate it. But I do ask you, please share on your um, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, help me get this thing trending. Um, I, it, you would be helping me out so much. Um, this is a dream of mine. Um, I love, I love this. I want to be a big part of the gaming community, and I want to build a place that's going to be memorable, a place where people can get taken care of, and just. You know, a smile goes a long way. Um, as a person that's, you know, suffers from depression and has almost committed suicide, you know, a smile and showing somebody that they care is awesome. It's the best help you can get. And I want to be able to help that out. I want to be able to make make a mark. And I want you guys to help me because this is, isn't just going to be my story. This is also going to be you guys. Um, and I would definitely appreciate it. Again, thank you so much for checking us out. My name is Panto6, and be sure to hit like and subscribe. I love you, and I'll see you guys later.